so I got started in brewing uh, one Saturday afternoon. My dad asked if I wanted to stay home and brew some beer with old dad. And uh, that was pretty much it. I found out that that was a fun, um, easy uh, hobby. And at the end of it, you got beer. My wife has a lot of talents. Uh, she's a, an artist, and a lawyer, and an accountant. And I have a lot of skills that are uh, electric, plumbing, uh, and all kinds of uh, engineering type skills. And she looked at me one day and said, hey, why don't we start a brewery? And so that's what really pushed it over the edge. Dealing with the city and dealing with the permits and all the, the hurdles you have to jump through, uh, Orlando is a very slick operation. And then just the process of taking my homebrew system, which was you know five or 10 gallons, uh, and then turning it into a, an industrial manufacturing process. We started the project and I got pregnant pretty much simultaneously. We were um, just trying to get everything done and be pregnant and otherwise unemployed all at the same time, so. Favorite part of running the brewery is actually the day I get to brew. Most of what I do is fix the shit my employees break, then pick stuff up and put stuff down. So when I get to actually brew, that's great. I've worked in kitchens everywhere, but you don't get to see the aspect of the customer. You don't get to see the reaction from them when they try something and they enjoy it or don't enjoy it. Why the name Dead Lizard? We'd already been started the process of, okay, we're gonna start a brewery, we gotta call it something. So I was mowing the lawn one day and I came on the back porch and I saw two dead lizards curled up and would look like a yin-yang. I ran inside and I told Storm, uh, that's my wife, and she was like, what? I said, the name of the brewery. At first he was a little bit worried about having dead in the name. And I was immediately like, like no, it's a cool name. And he's like, are you sure? And I'm like, yeah, it's, you know, brewery names are odd. And I said, what if you drew the name, um, like Bones? And so she sat down right then and drew out the name. And it came with a nice logo, because um, she's a great little artist. One of the unique things here is that you know they're made with this home cook and feel. We make everything. We're all about quality. Uh, and I, I won't compromise on that. Rich, our owner and head brewer, is a third generation home brewer. He's been brewing these beers and creating recipes since basically before we had a lot of internet access where people would go on and just Google a beer recipe. You know, he's having to learn to all this other stuff went together and kind of write these recipes and they're ones that he's been perfecting at home for him to drink. And we try and bring that creativity and that art into the taproom as well, like with the chalk on the walls and the games and the local art and just letting people be crafty and creative. vegan festivals out here uh, and then each week we have different things going on whether it be beer and yoga or fire and flow every other Tuesday night where people will do uh, fire performances and spinning and stuff and so we've always got something going on here. On the weekends there's always food trucks and live music. On October 27th we're getting ready to have um, a Gila Monster release party. Uh, it's a big bold beer I make and release it once a year. We are so family friendly. We, you know, we have people come with their little kids. We have, you know, multi-generational families come and it's a place where they can all come and hang out and they can be relaxed about it. They don't, they don't have to worry about the kids writing on the wall. <laughs> we, we welcome that. And so I think it's just um, making it such a comfortable atmosphere for so many people that you can just relax and enjoy yourself. When you taste the beer, it should get that. You should get that. That there's love in that beer. There's a lot of passion I put into it, and um, it comes from a place of, of you know home. I would like to be the cigar city of Central Florida. That's why we got the big space. That's why we got the big tanks, and that that's my hope. But that we don't lose our roots, and that we don't lose the art that we have in the tap room, and we keep that as we expand, and that we are able to um, feed more art into it. <laughs>